So Rocky and I are starting to use uh, a lot of these new consumer services like Dropbox. And we, of course, use Gmail. My uh, Gmail address is everywhere on the internet if you want to look for it, Scobalizer Gmail. And I'm always looking for ways to integrate uh, these two services together and among others. And Cloudless is uh, showing me a new way to do that right now. So let's see Cloudless. Who are you? Uh, my name's Elliot Sun. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Cloudless. And uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Yeah, uh, I was actually born out here on the West Coast. I grew up in Delaware. I came back to Berkeley for school and, and basically never left. Um, Cloudless is my third company. I, d I did two others previously, which um, were really good experiences that set me up for this third one. Very cool. And what, what does Cloudless do? You know, I sort of hinted with Gmail and Dropbox, but... Yeah, know. it's uh, it's exactly that. So basically, we take your favorite cloud storage services like Dropbox, Box, uh, SkyDrive, and we put those right inside of your Gmail interface. Um, so you can get all of your Dropbox features without having to leave uh, Gmail, which you probably spend most of your day in. Very cool. Can we uh, fire it up? I'm not sure if it's still running. So oh, yeah. We went into sleep mode there. Um, <laughs> Can we uh, see what it looks like? Yeah. Um, so the, the nice thing about Cloudless is that it integrates directly into Gmail. So um, it's very well integrated into Gmail UI. So when you hover over an attachment, you can see a button here um, that allows you to connect directly into your cloud storage services. So I can move this file to Dropbox directly without having it hit my desktop at all. Um, you could also set automation rules that allow you to file these things away automatically. Uh, we have a robust set of criteria that can use ranging from um, the name of the file to the sender um, to the size of it, the file type. Uh, so this allows you to file things automatically and directly into your cloud storage services. No, that's uh, pretty cool. It's, it, does this work on mobile as well or just on the desktop of uh, Chrome? It's, so it's available only for desktop today. However, if you move files, as you can see here, we've embedded a link to the file. Um, these files are accessible on your mobile phone as well. Very cool. And wh how are you going to get paid with this? Because it, it, it's obvious how uh, Gmail is going to get paid through advertising and other things, mm -hmm. and how Dropbox gets paid because storage files are, are right. not always free. How are you going to get paid? Yeah, so we take a consumerization approach to the market. And this, what we have here is just the first version of Cloudless. But I think the best way to think about Cloudless is not just as a utility to move attachments around the cloud, but it's really the beginnings of a platform that allow you to interact and work across a whole bunch of different cloud services at once. Um, so not just storage, but also um, services like Yammer, uh, project management services, collaboration tools. Um, so really, the upsell is, is to businesses, people who want to connect Salesforce, people who want to connect their project management services. Uh, and what I found in discussions with a lot of these larger companies is that as they're adopting more and more different cloud services internally, it becomes pretty difficult to manage the data that's going across all of them. Um, so what we're selling to businesses is basically a way to control how this data is flowing around their organization. And so, you know, if I think about Oh, the worst case, uh, the war room in uh, Nellis Air Force Base, they don't even let you put uh, USB keys <laughs> into any of, the, any of the machines there because they don't want any data to s sneak out of that war room because mm -hmm. it's highly secret stuff. Right. Uh, are you going to give companies that kind of control? Or yeah, so compliance is actually a pretty big deal. Um, there are a lot of big companies that we've talked to where they deal with a lot of sensitive data. Uh, and. So if you can imagine Cloudless becoming this pipeline that exists between all these different cloud services that's funneling data between them, um, we can effectively monitor those as well. So compliance is definitely a, a big upsell point for a lot of these larger companies. Um, you know, it sounds like you might eventually start competing with something like IFT, I-F-T-T-T, mm -hmm. uh, which lets me take data from Dropbox and put it on Instagram or whatnot. Yep. Um, are, are you thinking of that, or do you think you're always going to be in a separate path? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so at a high level, it seems very much like we're in the, we're in the same space and we're doing a lot of the similar things. Uh, the one thing that's really differentiated about Cloudless is that you can still move data without automation rules. Um, in a lot of people's daily workflows, you need data that you may not have had the foresight to set an automation rule for. So how are you going to be able to really quickly acquire that data from one service and put it in another? 
Um, and that's one of the problems that we solve that IFT currently does not. Yeah. What other kinds of services are you thinking of adding to on top of Gmail? And then are you, mm -hmm. uh, well, answer that and then we'll talk about <laughs> other things other than Gmail because most of the world, uh, like even at Rackspace, still runs on Exchange. Yeah, right. Um, so, well, starting with Exchange, that's actually a big selling point for us. Uh, we're working on an Outlook plugin that allows you to integrate the different cloud services that you use with on-premise Outlook. Um, but so what we're, some of the other offerings that we're, we're looking at right now are definitely mobile. I think that's super important for us. Uh, and it's one of the major trends. More and more people are doing a ton of things on their smartphones, on their tablets, but um, like even on your iPhone, it's, it's pretty hard to move data between applications, right? So yeah. uh, it's hard to get a permalink. I mean, on the web, we have so many ways to save a file to the local store and then re-upload mm -hmm. it if we need to. It yeah. might not always be the most efficient way, but we can do it. On the phone, there's not a file store, right? right? And there's, it's hard to find a permalink or a URL mm -hmm. that we can copy and paste and do all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. with. And you really hit on a key point there. Um, so it's not just mobile. You're seeing this trend happen with Chromebooks. Right? There's, there's very little physical storage now, and everything is happening in the cloud. Uh, so how can you get data, how can you work across all those different cloud applications really seamlessly? Um, it's going to become a, an even bigger problem, I think, in, in a couple of years from now. Very cool. Tell me about your company and a little bit about how it's funded. Sure, yeah. Um, so I, I have three other co-founders. So the four of us were all Berkeley graduates. Um, we have eight employees to date. Uh, we're located still a block from UC Berkeley campus, so we always hire a, a nice-sized intern team of Cal students. Um, we have raised two rounds of funding. Um, I guess you could call them two different seed rounds. Uh, the, key, the key funders were Tim Draper from DFJ uh, and as well as David Sachs from Yammer. Very good ones. So they, they must see something that, um, that most of us don't, that the world in the enterprises is changing mm -hmm. and they're sensing that you're going to be there uh, to satisfy that need, right? Uh, I sure hope so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I think what we're working on right now, and that's, that's definitely one of the biggest challenges for us, is that uh, a lot of these trends are still happening, right? They, they may not really manifest themselves in organizations until a year or even two years from now. Um, so a really big challenge for us is figuring out how to remain relevant to people's problems today while still becoming thought leaders and positioning ourselves technologically for this trend that's going to happen in the future. Uh, and that's one of the big reasons why we actually started an email. Uh, it's something that everyone can relate to. Uh, and now more and more people are using cloud storage as well. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Where do we learn more about it? Uh, you can go to cloudless.com uh, to find out all sorts of information about Cloudless. And uh, it's totally free for everyone. So you should definitely try it out. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thanks, Robert.